her hold, fragile, tired, and indeed retired. They have served the nation in different capacities. However, instead of them reaping the fruits of their labor at this crucial stage in their lives, the contrary is the case. They are faced with harsh realities. No good address, the government will not do this thing well. Look at them. What we do, those they carry from hospital to come here. They suffer too much. Talk to them. We don't just want to hear the government released 13 billion. At the end of the day, they don't release they don't release two billion to the pensioner. You just see the billions, billions on paper. I, I don't become beggar. From one place to one place. They know my children. From one house to one house. When they give me now go feed. Now so far, so far we did now. See, they say I go Abuja, I go to Abuja, they say go to ban. I go ban, nothing. They say the word is said, not for the wise. I don't know why Nigerians are like this. Why? Appealing whomever that is sitting on, on this pension, be you whomever, I implore you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, of our Lord, let that spirit of humanity touch your mind and for you to release our pension. 72 year old Good Luck Wajiku was among the protesters. Ironically, he retired from the Federal Ministry of Establishment and Pensions. It was a bumpy ride as we took a drive down into the heart of Rilegomu in Lagos State. The destination is 23 Alagba Street. A house in Nigeria's local parlance is called Face Me, I Face You. He lives with his wife and six other members of his family. This is a parlance. I'm still managing. So you mean everybody, yeah, the eight is, people this, manage all this? This is where we manage. We can't do otherwise. A beggar has no choice. If I have been given my due rights, I can look for a place that is better than this. You can just see even a place where they are opening a bill of Okreka. It cannot be like this. Because there's nothing we can do that to find a solution to live. Let them pay me. Let them give me my right of pension. I work for it. I've worked for 35 good years. I did not steal. They didn't pay me my money. Owing to improper ventilation, the room is always hot and stuffy. You can see around where I'm living. In this place, it's not comfortable to us. Even though I have the money, I can look for more, another accommodation to absorb us, to breathe very well. I've never celebrated the year. From 2010, I've never celebrated Christmas. I've never celebrated New Year with my family for three good years now. What a face. I am not, I was not committed for being a criminal. I don't base any government money. I don't see why I must be treated in this way. Because of unpaid benefits, he is limited in how much he can care for his family. The pensioners, many has gone to grave because of staffing us. No money to feed, no money to buy drugs, no money to do anything. Now they have shortened our life. Some of us are resting on that grave. I had an accident sometime. I break my left, my, my left hand and my left leg. And I was in the hospital for the hospital for almost one year. I was shitting where I am and then pesting where I am. No bath. So it's because in respect of this pension to pay me. Now up to now, nothing has been given to me. What do I do? What will I do? What sin have I committed? What offense? What crime have I committed? I am on drugs. I have an hypertension and a smack off. And if I go to even general hospital, whatever may be the, 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 the prescription, I am to pay for it. The reality that most pensioners suffer or die in penury before they collect their major stipends is quite disturbing. It is hard to ignore the fact that the unending nightmare of fraud perpetuated in the pensions account is inflicting untold hardship and pain to retirees like Mr. Wanchuku. For him and others from the military, the police and the civil service, learning daily from the media how the entitlements are embezzled by government officials is quite disturbing and demoralizing. Dr. Aruaje, TVC News, Legacy.